Hey guys, this is Eddie from E11 World and today I've got a really nice and interesting tip tutorial or whatever you want to call it for using PayPal to pay with your US dollars on Amazon.com the USA site USA Amazon.com not .ca because well, we'll get to that in a second. But yes, we're using a service called Gift, G-Y-F-T. Really nice service. I uh, found this online from this guy, Reviews by Gary. Thank you, Gary, very much. I really appreciate it. His tutorial was for the US markets, and my tutorial is for us Canadians here. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. So keep watching. For the longest time, I kept spending Canadian dollars on Amazon.com and I was losing on the conversion. Okay, this is huge. Now I can use my US dollars and not worry about losing any of that conversion. So I just want to show you the website and if you don't know about it yet, with gift you can buy gift cards from online retailers and use it for online purchases. And it works really nice with uh, all of these retailers listed on their site. I'm going to guess it's going to keep growing and growing. And they have an app for iOS and Android. But guess what? No Canadian support for it yet. And fortunately with, you know, a whole bunch of other stuff out there. But anyways, there is workarounds and we'll get to that in a second. So hopefully they will get this going for us in the future. And uh, if you don't know what PayPal is, Basically, PayPal is, uh, well, you know, I don't have to explain this to you. You pretty much know what PayPal is. Why are you here? Why are you watching this video if you don't know what PayPal is? All right. But I did want to mention PayPal.me, which is a service they introduced a few months ago. I think two or three months, maybe. And it's a way for you to get paid online through a personal link. Uh, so it could be like, you know, PayPal.me slash Eddie or E11 World. Just, yeah. And uh, yeah, it's a nice service. I used it once and um, plan to using it more in the future. Why not, you know? So let's go to Amazon right now. And as you see here, when you go to Amazon.com and you're shopping from Canada, it tells you, are you shopping from Canada? Well, yes, I am. But guess what? I'm going to stay on Amazon.com. because. And let me go through a couple of things here for a second. Amazon.com and eBay.com is way, way better than the .ca site. It's got like way more stuff. And if you compare the pricing, even with the price, like with the dollar difference, it's still cheaper to shop on Amazon.com. I mean, I'm not sure if it's mainly because of shipping cost in Canada or whatever, or maybe because, you know, the US is like, you know, mass market, mass production, everything is, is more. But even shopping stuff from China and other places is the same thing. I mean, shipping, something from like all the way from China and you bought this for five dollars it's still free shipping but buying something from Canada even when it's a thousand dollars sometimes they still charge you shipping which is stupid but I mean everyone has their reasons and whatnot I just don't agree with it I, I love how with US sites you can get so much better deals like you know buying the same product from the same person it could be the same company you know they're charging let's say a hundred bucks for something and you go to the .ca site and they're charging like $190. It's almost twice as much. And on top of that is not free shipping. So, you know, it just it doesn't make sense. It doesn't even make any sense at all to buy from .ca. Stick with .com. I, I, don't, I, I don't think I even go to the .ca anymore. It's just natural habit to go to the .com site. So, anyway. That was my two cents on this. And uh, I just want to mention you can try Prime for free for 30 days. It's a really nice thing that uh, Amazon um, has, which you can... There's a whole, whole bunch of benefits for this, including the free two-day shipping. Mainly, this is why I use it. I don't really use all other stuff, but it is nice to have. So sign up for the free accounts, you know, on PayPal and uh, Amazon if you don't have those. And we sign up with a free gift account. You can sign up your with your email or Google account or Facebook account and it works really nice. So I'll show you what happens here. Once you sign up, you go to buy gift cards up there and uh, you know, let's say we select Amazon and again, you can go through other places, but the minimum with Amazon is $10. I'm not sure what is the minimum with other retailers, probably the same. 
So you can, uh, yeah, we'll buy for yourself or send it as a gift. I, you know, just select for buy for myself. So you got a confirmation dialogue saying that this card cannot be redeemed outside of the US. Would you like to? Yes, I would like to continue. Thank you very much. Excellent. So once you hit continue, you go to the next page and you select PayPal, you hit proceed and it shows you this message you know you've been redirected to complete your purchase you probably actually won't see this you'll just see this pop-up window here and you fill in your credentials for paypal your email your password and right away when it's done its thing it will forward you back to this page redirect you here and show you the thank you message that you know you've basically uh, got this ten dollar gift card for amazon and now you can use your us dollars from PayPal onto Amazon and it's really nice you can again view your card here and I'll show you so you can redeem it through here basically hit the apply to account it'll copy over the code into you PayPal especially if you've already logged in and you can check your balance right there when you hit check it'll show you below it that you know there is this is how much it is for me in this case it's ten dollars and then you can either apply to your balance, you can apply it to your Amazon balance, or you can apply it directly to your shopping cart. And uh, right here, when uh, I'll show you when you apply it, it de deducts the $10 off of your purchase right here. This is the sample page I just made for you guys. I just want to mention that you can stack up those codes. You can add all those up to match your total. So if your total was a 150, and you had $10 gift card and another $50 and another $50, you only have to pay the rest, the 40, right? And, you know, that, that'll be with whatever money you want to pay with. But you're using these and you're, um, you're using these codes in your balance. And that's what's good about it. You can stack up those codes. So you can actually, that's where gifting it to people and more people will be gifting to each other and so on will actually make sense for Amazon. It's really nice. Okay, now here is the big tip. So I didn't know how to do this, but I kind of just figured my way around. And this is why I'm making this video so that everyone out here can, you know, figure out how to do it and thank me. You know, you should thank me and, and press like and something like that. Okay. All right. So once you sign up with gift and you try to do those transactions, if you're doing $10, it works fine. But if you're doing something like a big number, it will need verification from you. And this is where the problem was for me. So you're purchasing something from amazon.com that is two or three or $400. And now you need to get verified. All right. The only way to do this in Canada is through the step I'm going to show you right now. There is a way that you're supposed to be doing it through their site, which is by phone number. Unfortunately, that doesn't work because your phone number is Canadian, unless you already have like an actual US phone number, which will probably work for you because you'll just confirm it through SMS. But in this case, you need to call them. Okay, call gift this number right here. Hopefully they don't change it. Get on the phone with support, you know, tell them that you're from Canada and you'd like to get verified. So they will send you this email, okay, where you got to fill in your email address, select a form of ID, your license or your passport, or I can't remember what the other one was, upload the pictures or use the webcam, which I didn't do, and take you through the steps. When you're done, they'll verify that this is actually you, and now you're going to be a happy person. So the only annoying thing for me was when you're going through the process, with gifts and i hope you guys fix this if, if anyone from gift is watching this video or will watch it at some point please work on this part it's just a little bit easier for users okay when you're selecting those ids the steps doesn't show you like from one to three okay this is what happened in my case i took a picture of my license the front of my license copied it over to the computer uploaded it now I get to the second step, says, oh, you need to do the back. All right, do the same thing. Take a picture of the back, copy to the computer, upload it. And then the third step says, take a picture of yourself and upload it. I'm like, oh, come on now. You know, why couldn't you tell me, take all three pictures and freaking upload them? Sorry, but you know, you should have something like that. Just tell me 
I need to take all three pictures at the same time, upload them freaking once or, you know, one at a time, but, you know, in one process type of thing. So I don't have to do one thing at a time. It was really annoying for me. I mean, it's little things like that that makes people, you know, you lose your customers this way. All right. Just want to let you guys know. Hopefully it'll fix that in the future. All right. So, man, I'm talking too much here. You upload the images and then they verify you. It actually was very quick for me. It took only a few minutes and uh, then I was one happy customer. Boom. So once you finish these three steps, we're uploading the images and you get verified. Now your account is reactivated because it actually deactivates your account for you when you're becoming verified. So just want to let you guys know if you kind of felt like, oh, why is my account deactivated? This is kind of why. Okay, they're verifying you. And it could take longer. For me, it took a few minutes, probably because I was on the phone with them like a half hour before that. But um, anyways, so that's what happened there. You get verified, your account is reactivated. And then, you, say, you know, you get those emails like you have successfully purchased whatever money from Amazon as a gift card and, you know, check your email. You'll see that stuff. All right. I just wanted to show you guys this one last bit here before I finish my video. And it's about this data breach that they had between October 3rd and till December 18 of 2015. So basically someone hacked their site, got a hold of some data, and I'm not sure how much, but you know, it's just, you know, it's really bad when these things happen. And I'm guessing they just weren't as secure. Hopefully they are now because I'm with them, you know, please. And uh, you know, these things happen online with everyone. Like nobody is safe online. That's how it is. If you're, if you upload anything to the internet, it's pretty much it. That's how I look at it. It's never 100% safe. And, uh, you know, correct me if I'm wrong. I, I don't think these things are always going to be 100% safe, but I'm okay with it. And I believe you're going to be okay with it because you're watching this video and you're already using, you know, your money online and so on. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Your money and your information and, and whatever, anything else that you want to worry about online. But for me, I just want to give you guys this heads up that this thing happened and it could happen to them or to anybody else. It could happen to PayPal or Amazon or whatever. So just be aware. So I hope you really enjoyed this video and you should like it because it's awesome. OK, I made it. That's why it's awesome. No, but really, it's awesome because it, finally I can save some money on the conversion rate. And it's just awesome to have that, you know, pay with PayPal through uh, Amazon. So use this, save some money on the conversion rate there. And also you're finally able to freaking use PayPal on Amazon.com. So you should thank me and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And uh, let me know if I missed anything or if you'd like to see any more videos or screencasts about anything else in the future. All right. I'll check you guys later.